Hi everyone, Devin Rex for Art here. Today I thought I would do another jelly plating video uh, using mostly dollar store items. Uh, these are some wood shapes, which I think should be cute. So I have these gift bags and the idea is where it's foil, that should resist picking up the paint and where it's matte, that will pick up the paint and give us an interesting image. I've got two different patterns of that. Those are from the dollar store. Um, I want to talk briefly about some of the other things I tend to use that I don't go into a lot of detail. One is this Craft Fun Foam and it comes, I just got this at the dollar store quite a while ago and it comes in different patterns and those are good for making little uh, texture marks. Uh, the other thing, a lot of people ask me about uh, these um, sort of mesh things that I use. These are needle working plastic canvas and you can get them in different sizes. You can get them from um, Michaels, from Amazon and uh, my last couple of videos I had a lot of people ask me what I was using. So that's what that is. Um, this is like a jar opener from the dollar store. It's like that shelf liner material. Bubble wrap, of course, is good. Uh, the other thing that's good to make little impressions is embossed paper. So I have embossing folders, and these are just a few of the designs. I thought these were kind of wintry Christmas vibes. Let's try black. It's not typically a Christmas color, but um, I think I'll make, if this works properly, I'll, I'll make some gold and copper. Reindeer. Got a bit too much paint on there, so I'm just burning some of it off. And this is similar to, because um, it's a resist technique, it's similar to like when we do the image transfers. So you don't want this paint too thick because then it won't, won't resist um, where the deer are. So I can see that's almost see through when I look on an angle. So let's just use this bag here. We'll put it in the middle. Yeah, so that works. So it's pretty cool. Kind of more distressed, right? And you can actually take a baby wipe and wipe off the paint from the deer so that you can use the same bag again. Um, I would wait till this dries though before trying it again. You can still use this as a gift bag if you're, you know, here for giving it to uh, like sort of that grungy distressed look, but I'm going to clean that off and use it again. So let that dry. It didn't resist as much as I thought, so I thought the deer would be um, solid. wasn't that's okay that's the fun thing about jelly plating is you never really know exactly what's going to happen let's do copper and gold and we'll pick it up on this linen texture ah, just spit at me put that on there I think I'll do this like a two to, ooh, that's a lot of copper. Wow. Because I put um, so much copper on, we'll do two layers. We'll do one layer of copper, and then we'll make some textures, and then do a layer of gold. Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. All right, let's use... Uh, Screen. So it won't pick up the, uh, the paint underneath. It shouldn't. We'll let that dry. Okay, that's dry. So I'm just putting a layer of gold. almost didn't put enough on, but I think we just barely got enough. Put this on quick before it dries. 
And then I have my handy dandy lid that I use for rubbing. There's our deer. So I'm going to leave that on to keep it um, distressed. Let's go with green. So unfortunately my ribbon got a bit there, but that's okay. Maybe what I'll do is, I think that's gonna, I'll just cut off the ribbon for the next one. And I'm thinking what will look good with that would be um, like a nice bright aqua. See here how it really resisted, um, the paint resisted coming off where the trees were compared to when we did the um, reindeer, so it is hard to predict, you know, it's um, got to not um, have too many expectations and just just play, have fun, see what happens. If it doesn't work, you can just throw out that piece of paper, right? I think like a, like a opaque aqua would look nice. We'll do that one on copy paper. All right, that's already dry. There we go. If you remember, we did have a bit of that black paint, black and copper left over. This is kind of cool. You can always layer prints if you don't like how it turned out.
interesting that this time it actually left the paint on the deers as I thought it might. And I'm just gonna, just gonna do that where the string was. Again, I'm just wiping this so I can reuse it. Here's a review of the prints we did. So that's the last one. Um, and that's the bag we used. This was the first deer one we used. And I don't know why for the first one it didn't uh, leave the paint on the deers, but like I said, it's unpredictable. That's why it's a mono print. It's fun though. Um, and then we did a lot of prints with this bag here. This was the first one, more of a monochromatic type of look. You can see here where the ribbon was put on and this one was very subtle and it did sort of like um, foreground with some sky on this one you see some subtle textures there this one was uh, more of a checkered pattern using that dish liner dish or sink liner and then a really bright one to finish it off, some bright colors. Uh, this is a bonus print. This one I uh, uploaded a video to my Instagram, just cause this video was getting a little bit um, long. So if you wanna see how that one was made, check out my Instagram reel. So I plan to do some more videos using um, some of the dollar store items that I had on my desk at the beginning of this video. Um, in addition, I did do a couple videos winter of 2021 for January and February. Um, if you want to check out more uh, prints using dollar store items that are more of a winter theme, you can check those out in my uh, playlist, uh, my videos or my jelly plating playlist. Anyways, I really appreciate you um, watching my video. Stay safe, um, have fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye.